Hey, it's Brian here. I want to just make an introduction and about me video, kind of introducing myself and, you know, talk about everything, um, what I plan on doing and um, describing stuff, what I'm going to offer you guys. And um, by the way, I know some of you guys are going to say, oh, don't be, you know, texting or video and driving. I'm not holding my video, the recorder. Um, and I'm going to be just looking at the road, talking to you guys. Um, plus, I have a newest model uh, vehicle with the lane assist and all that, but that's not an excuse, I understand. So anyways, my name's Brian. I'm 31 years old. Got into this whole generator thing probably six years ago. Um, went to school to be an electrician and ended up working for a company. Um that did installing generators and at first I was just installing them doing the electrical side and then they actually cross trained me to work on them and service them and troubleshoot them and I actually just branched out I didn't even I rather do the generator technician service and install or service troubleshoot than installing them and it ended up being such a, a good idea for me at least so Fast forward, you know, I started my own little business. It's not um, year round. So it's called Portable Generator Services. And I do that mostly during hurricane season. I'm in Florida. And um, during hurricane season, right before hurricane season, I have tons of homeowners that want their portable generator looked at. And so I've been doing that for a while. and. Then I got a customer that found me through Angie's or Google and you know, she was like, oh, you've got amazing reviews and you work on the portable generators. No other companies want to work on them. Um, and uh, it says you, you travel to the, the customer and work on it right then and there. Like no one does that. Um, so basically yeah so I, I met her and I fixed her generator and she's you know like oh my gosh like no one um, will all of us uh, food truck owners have the hardest time finding generator companies that'll work on our stuff and um, so that gave me an idea and I was like you know what well I understand that you're guy not no most of the uh, food truck people on the Facebook groups aren't in Florida, whatever. It's not about me trying to make money off of you guys. Um, I'm very busy and uh, it's not even hurricane season. I mean, today's Easter and I had three jobs. And uh, yesterday I had three and then Monday through Friday I work seven to four. Um, so it's not, you know, I'm not trying to find people and, and make as much money as possible. I want to help you guys. And if you guys can learn something and, and fix your generator without me, then awesome. Like That's all I kind of want. I want, I like helping people. Um, you know, my business, I just hit 50 reviews and they're, every single one has been five stars. My main focus business-wise besides fixing and getting the generator running correctly is customer service I make sure that my customers are happy um, so I'm gonna make I made this this channel um, for the food truck people food truck generator repair or advice expert advice and support and uh, you guys can you know let me know what you want to see explained, hands-on, whatever, and um, I'll make it for you guys. Um, if you guys are in Florida and you need someone to install the generator on your food truck and get my expert advice on the, the correct way to do it, I mean, it's crazy. I've actually had a couple of food trucks with generators, they have them installed on the, not on the back of the food truck, but in an, a, a compartment built into the food truck that houses the generator inside of it, right? And it literally 
you can't even slide the generator out. It's stuck in that compartment, meaning I can't even take the, the, the top of it off to access things. And that's just not the right way. It's not good. You need to be able to pull it out and change the oil, spark plug, air filter, troubleshoot it. If if that guy, and he will need it done at some point, needs his um, ignition coil changed, it's just going to be a nightmare. And I know if he tries to bring it to a company, they're going to charge him probably a thousand bucks for a $40 part. Um, and the reason being is it's going to take them so many hours to unbolt it and pull it out and disconnect the electrical, the gas or fuel, whatever. It, it's just, I'm going to provide you guys with a layout for many different topics. If you're buying a new food truck, I'm going to give you the layout on how you should have your generator installed. All the key important parts of the uh, process and what you should make sure is done so that you can maintain your generator correctly and easily and you can fix it and troubleshoot it and you have the proper airflow and you know just all sorts of things like that so um yeah, I just wanted to make a little uh, video introducing myself and I was like, hmm, maybe I could just record my voice, but I feel like that's just not like personal enough. So um, I decided to do it this way. I'm on my way to another job, another customer. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'll probably maybe record it and just, just to see what happens and you know anyways I will be uh, updating the page with new videos as much as possible if you guys give me topics to talk about then I will be doing it more often you know so anyways happy Easter and uh, look forward to working and helping you and uh, you know learning together so Talk to you later. Bye.